Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Capers Williamson. Uh, I'm a United States javelin thrower. I've thrown 80-49 so far as my PR. Uh, I grew up playing football, basketball, and baseball, and I've always had a strong arm. Um, so I found javelin my junior year of college. I was 21 years old, so now I'm 29, and I've devoted my last eight years of my life to this sport. Um, people think that Every time I hand them a javelin, they say, well, how much does it weigh? Oh, it's so light. I could throw this so far. Uh, but it's not about this. It's not about a strong arm. Um, it's about uh, speed and precision and coordination and understanding your center of gravity and, and the proprioception in the brain uh, all into one fluid, smooth motion. They say it's like controlled chaos. So it really is. And I'm going to be talking about that today in the introduction of javelin. So I've always had a background with a strong arm and people think, oh yeah, strong arm, but this is not the case in javelin. You have to have understanding from um, the hand-eye coordination from the, the hand is back here, the point is here, but what's the rest of the body doing? So um, it's, it's more like 80% body, 20% arm. It's a relaxed uh, stretch reflex is what we like to say. It's more of a whip. It's it's not necessarily a a strong, forceful arm on the on the javelin. This is not what's going to make the javelin fly. Then uh, people think you go throw the javelin, but this is not the case. So uh, a couple things that I'm going to start with is a few bullet points um, to the intro of my understanding of javelin. So what helped me out at the beginning stages and intermediate stages, and now even, I would say, is turning the brain completely off. There's nothing analytically going on. Um, javelin is all about reacting to even what the day brings you. So just reacting, it's reacting, it's reactive. Uh, I feel positions, I allow positions to happen, and then that's when a good throw happens it's, it's not what you think it is. It's, it's totally opposite. When you think that you want to come down and tense and throw, this is not the case, right? When you think that you want to throw, you need to relax even more. And then this allows the stretch reflex to happen. This allows the serape effect to happen. And this is what makes the javelin fly far. Um, so I would say speed, um, coordination, uh, being reactive to the day even, being reactive to the positions, not analy analytically analyzing everything what's going on. Oh, this, 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 this is not what javelin is. It's it's how you feel is how it flies. So uh, if you have sports anxiety, this is okay to have as long as you know how to control this. This is a very good tool to be able to, to use if you can control it. But if you see that a thrower, or even myself, is nervous, tense, well, then the javelin will show this as well. It, it shows this every time. So um, the intro to javelin for me would be speed and coordination and understanding the center of gravity all into smooth, fluid, relaxed, easy positions that we allow to happen while maintaining energy and effectiveness and efficiency and nice, easy, um, relaxed positions, but then striking, hitting hard, keeping the chin up, keeping the chest up, uh, seeing what focal point we've chosen downfield, straight, you know, straight line, keeping everything honest, keeping everything one vector of energy running straight forward at the javelin. And then we chase after the javelin, after we've thrown, we've given ourselves plenty of room before the line. No, we don't, we don't run up to the line and then throw. This is what I see happening in my, in my area of the world is athletes run down and they look at the line and they, then they look up and then they throw. And this is not the case. We have to give ourselves plenty of room before the line so we can hit the position and then we can keep the momentum going forward. Uh, I like to think, um, people think almost like it's just an arm throw, but this is not the case. It's almost like swinging a golf club and then stopping at the ball. 
You don't do that in a, in a golf swing. So you swing through the ball just like you would follow the javelin through and chase the javelin out with your chest and then your chin up and your jaw line up. This is what, this is what makes the javelin fly. Um, so some, some key points to this, I would say, is understanding your center of gravity. I would say be reactive to the day. Take what the day brings you. Um, you can't control everything at a track meet, so don't try to control everything, even in your own technique sometimes. Just allow it to simply just be. Um, and then I would say it's not a strong arm. It's understanding what's going on with a relaxed, straight arm back. Sometimes a bend is okay, but not such a small bend. We call this the chicken wing. So no chicken wings. We want to have good separation. We also say running away from the javelin. So I would say speed, coordination, understanding of center of gravity, being reactive, 80% uh, body, 20% arm, allowing a whip to happen, um, and the proprioception in the brain. This is a major important key to it all is, um, you know, it's almost like jumping and then being able to land doing a 180 or a 360 without falling down, understanding where you're at in this world, basically. I know that's a lot, but understanding right here, right now in the present moment, this is what happens. This is what happens to, to allow a, a big throw to happen. So um, I'm super excited to work with everybody. Um, I'm so humbled to have this opportunity and I cannot wait to say and work and and let's just tackle this and and good luck to everybody this season and we'll we'll get the javelins flying because we don't throw them thank you